question. It has something to do with uh, the questions that we've been asking over the previous week. I figure why not make it a trilogy? Uh, and I've got it written down here. It was inspired, credit where credit is due, by Rizdefer. Hmm. Um, so we've had hi Riz, We've had a lot of people leaving uh, promotions recently, and the big question this week is: of those who have left, who have made the decision to uh, uh, leave their comfy contracted homes and um, uh, sail the rougher and potentially more lucrative waters, who will do the best? Now, who are we talking about in the in the people that have left? People category. who have left, the people who have left recently, the the recent departures that we've been reporting on. Pick one. <laughs> All I right. One. Anybody have answer, Bobby? I got one. Um, Austin Aries. Okay. I, th- I think Austin Aries is either going to land in Lucha Underground or NXT for sure. He just signed a t- with a talent agency. Uh, I think something's going to happen with him. Okay. Okay. That's my problem. I don't even know what the entire list of departures has been. So. <laughs> That's kind of a sliding list. Um, yeah. I'm going to say, and this this is not really recent departure, but I'm going to say Alberto El Patron. Uh, Del Rio left over the E contract, which was really good money, and he's making, he's making a lot of strides on the Indies and in Lucha Underground, of course. He's been ROH, he's been AAA. He's able to He's basically able to do whatever he wants now, and he's really, really having a lot of fun doing it. He's even going to be at a promotion um, up by me, uh, teaming with Rey Mysterio against the Young Bucks. And if that isn't something you're interested in, then I don't know what to tell you. It's going to be a super kick fiesta. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you mean. There you go. There you go. Uh, I actually have to agree with Bobby. Um uh, with Austin Aries, I think um, he's kind of floated around a little bit, and um, if he can get in with the right people and get on the right lists, then um, Austin Aries has a bright future wherever he decides to go. I, I, I too would have liked to agree with. Uh, That's both. that voice is Riz joining us Hi. here. Hi, let the people know who you are since we're. Oh, I, I didn't on. know we were going to do that. Um, yeah, I'm the Riz from Riz Plays Games. Um, so, even though I do agree with Austin Aries would have been a great fit in NXT, another one that we have probably have to mention is uh, Magnus. Even though I think he just signed with uh, DFW. So he signed with TNA again. Yeah, so basically it's a, it's a lateral move. Uh, but I would have liked to see him in other parts maybe in wwe maybe in edit in roh maybe in even lucha who knows uh mm-hmm. i just feel like I, I just feel like it would have been probably i i i like mag magnus as a wrestler and also he could bring back mickey james from the dead oh, James. <laughs> borderline criminal mm. okay <sighs> okay Okay, uh, who's next? Who's next? Who's got the next I'll one? do it. Okay. Do. Wheels joins us. Hot Wheels RWA on the Twitter has, has been here. Everybody jumped in. Apparently they lifted their limits on Hangout. Holy crap. Uh, I think we did. Oh, wheels, goodness. Wheels, what's your opinion? Okay, it's it's kind of going with Riz's thing, because I'm going to go for the murderer, Mr. James Storm. <laughs> and I think he'd make a great... Okay. Pardon the pun, great impact in Lucha Underground. You got the Cowboys and the Mexicans. And I think that would be awesome to have them, like, him healing it up down there. Awesome. All right, what about you, Matt Carlin's also joining us, our friend in the mainstream media. Thanks, Sorg. I'm also a big believer in the Cowboy James Storm, even mm-hmm. though he did do something borderline criminal. <laughs> um, the nice thing about borderline, <laughs> <laughs> that's what TNA's oh, official hey. report said. That's never, TNA's official report said. Never convicted. Okay. 